guys, this will be my uh, first video on Nestromen. This is John. I'm gonna be playing the game The Forest. It's um, a pretty popular survival slash horror game, and uh, it just came out on PS4 about one month ago. And this will be version 1.10, which came out just a few days ago. But anyway, let's get into it. I'll make a new game, and we'll play on normal mode. Yeah, so we've decided, the six of us who make up Nishimin, that we will uh, stop making channels on our, or not make, stop making videos on our own account, and instead make Nishimin our main channel for all six of us. Meaning there'll be a lot more videos on Nishimin and no more on the other accounts. And I'll shut up so you guys can watch this. This is Timmy right here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now crossing the zone of turbulence. Please return to your seats and keep your seatbelts fastened. So here we are guys, in our clash plane, which we seem to be the only survivors of, only survivor, other than our, my son, well, your character's son, Timmy. And yeah, so basically the idea is, is to, well, survive, obviously. But the main goal is to eventually find your son again who was taken by a guy wearing red paint. I'm assuming he is the alpha male. I have played this game a little bit before. But, yeah. I'll we'll break out break these boxes. And I think... No, oh, I'm not sure where we are. Uh, where the plane lands changes at the time of the new world. <coughs> I'm gonna turn that down because it's just a bit loud. Uh, music will bring down to like 75. I'll bring that down to like 40. But anyway. Uh we do have a deer right off the bat, which is a little bit uncommon. If you put two sticks together you can make a spear. Which I haven't really <coughs> that one right over its head. I haven't exactly worked out how the accuracy works quite yet with spears very well. But that right there, that's it's just a good start. Got a little bit of deer skin and a whole bunch of meat. I guess we could pick up the head if we wanted to. I don't know why we would want to do that, but whatever. So 
from what I can tell, using that mountain right there, that seems to be your big landmark in this game. We'll break this. So we're going to want to go this way. Um, if you're playing this game, I would recommend not attacking the cannibals. Like, just try to avoid them. Unless they swing first. But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good tip to not... Not cause the cannibals too much trouble. Try to remain quite peaceful for as long as you can. Because the earlier you start attacking cannibals, the earlier they're going to start sending big waves of them to your base, and that can be very difficult to deal with, especially in your early days. So yeah, um, I know where we are. We're going to follow this coastline. There's going to be a yacht, which we will probably loot. Uh, depending how long it takes us to get there, we might even sleep in it. It's a pretty nice thing. I think there's an achievement for it, actually, that I wouldn't mind picking up. But yeah. I'm running low on energy now. Nah. Not with Adam. But yeah, we got all this meat, which is quite good. I wonder what we can make with deer hide. Uh, water skin, spear bag, warm suit. Alright, so that's a pretty good thing to pick up nice and early. Um, skulls, if you see them on here, it's good to break them. Because, yeah, skulls, you can make light sources that never go away. And we can also get cloth from them, and cloth is very handy to make bone armor. And you can bow a lot of equipment, pretty much. Yeah. So yeah, this is going to be quite a walk. But we have food, so all we need to do is get a campfire and like we're pretty much set. Or even a drying rack is probably what I will do. Because with the, with the campfire, you, you cook the food and it's, it's cooked fast, but you can only cook one at once. Well, you can cook more than one at once, but you can only, you can't hold cooked food for whatever reason. With the drying rack, it does take a couple minutes, but then you can hold that food in your inventory and carry it all around. And like, we can care, so we could carry four dried meat. And then we could also carry like three rabbits and three lizards, and a whole bunch of small meat. Well, no, you can't dry small meat. But yeah. So anyway. I don't know how long this episode will last. I might just play till nighttime. Probably just sleep through it. <coughs> um Yeah. Get sticks while you're just walking around. I'll make another spear actually so I have it can only carry 10 sticks at once at the beginning. If you kill some rabbits, you can make a sick bag, which will let you hold 20. Yeah. You can only hold one spear as well, too, at once. Um, I wouldn't recommend, like, eating your snacks or your soda, as those are in limited supply. And you can carry ten of each around with you, so when you're deep exploring caves and such, you'll know, like you'll be able to have them on you. Makes things just makes things easier. Um, there is an old pot right here which I was not aware of. That's quite helpful. We could sleep here too. We won't though. Because, you know, it's still the middle of daytime. An old pot's very useful because that basically gives us infinite water. If you see any blueberries, eat them. But yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to make a base similar to the one in my other world. Which will probably take a while for videos to come out that way. 
because I'll have to, gathering all the resources, I'll probably speed it up. Because, like, making a log cabin, I can take you, like, an hour just getting all the logs for it. I'll save a few of those. Oh no, I'll still just open them all up. There is, I'm not sure if it's a glitch, but it seems like sometimes when you re-log on, you, uh, like the loot respawns. Uh, you guys can comment if you consider that cheating to pick that back up again. And I'll just go with whatever you guys say. You guys think it's cheating, then I won't. You pick it up if you guys don't think it's cheating, then I will. So, this is a spawning ground for turtles, as you can see, which are also quite useful. Get a cassette right here, and we get a picture of this yacht, which doesn't help us all that much, as we are fairly aware there's a yacht there. Turtles, easy food. Uh, gives you two food. Oh no, it just gives you one. It won't let me pick it up. I, I won't kill the other one because I won't get anything from it. I can only hold one turtle shell as one at once as well. Um. I still haven't quite figured out if there's falling damage in this game or not. I don't think there is, because in my other world, I, there's this big chasm that you can go down, like a sinkhole type thing. And I just dropped down it and was perfectly fine. Uh, that music that plays when I'm picking up this stuff is... Uh, part of... I mean, that item is part of the story. There's a concept player. And that's a picture of one of the mutants. Which are not fun to deal with. Some booze. Uh, later on, I haven't figured out how to do it in my other world yet, but you can open this door. And there's something in there. I'm not sure what that's a picture of, to be honest. Yeah, that should be all. I could sleep here. I won't, though, because it's still day. Uh, last thing. There is some rope. I wouldn't mind picking up. Yeah, so if you do manage to find a yacht, which isn't hard, um, as long as you walk around the coastline, you will eventually hit it. It will take a while, though, if you go in the wrong direction. But basically, straight from the yacht, there is a little village. I actually believe it's that way. Which, um... Well, she'll give you an old pot if you haven't found one yet, and just some overall loot. But yeah. Um, if you're wondering how the hot bar works and all that, not the hot bar, but uh, the health and your hunger, the uh, little stomach is how hungry you are. That's sort of self-explanatory. I don't know if these are poisonous or not. No, they're not. Thanks. Anyway. Um. A little hunger, that's your little stomach, that's your hunger level. Um. Okay, yeah, it's left. In here. Your. The water drop, that's your first level, obviously. And then the red bar is your health. The 
darker blue bar is your energy level, so how high your stamina can go up to. And then the light blue, lighter blue bar that keeps on going up and down, that's your stamina level. So there's actually two candles here, which I'm gonna try to avoid. Uh, is this it? No, it is not. Well, this is a little bit embarrassing. I might actually not know where I'm going. And those guys seem to be hostile. I don't know how long I will play this. I might go in seasons. Um. Oh, sweet. This is that cave. Which means the village is very close by. Unless I am just going insane. Or. The update, and that's what screwed me. I haven't played since the 1.10 update. Oh, no, I mean 1.09, now it's 1.10. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Well, it's getting dark. And we have a water source right here. No, I'm making a video about it. Well, yeah, um, considering making my base there. I don't know. How about this? I'll, um... You guys tell me in the comments where you want me to make it my base. You want me to make it by these two puddles, by the village I was talking about, or by the yacht. And I'll just do whatever gets the most votes for. As you can see, the cannibals aren't quite all that hostile yet, which is good. But yeah, I could make a base right by the yacht. It would be, um, it'd be a pretty simple base. I would just build like a make a bunch of wooden platforms around the yacht and build around it like that. Um, I'm honestly not sure where this village is. Which is sort of pissing me off. Took me a while, but I, I did find it. 
this is where I would prefer building my base at. Not necessarily in here. I can't pick that up. I already got one. But, um, on that rock. Make a wooden platform over it. And yeah, let's build a little base. So anyway guys, I found what I want to build. And that's poisonous. So I'll end the video here. Next episode I'll start working on the base. I'll get a little campsite type thing going right on the water's edge. So I have like a little thing to live in while I work on the big end base and I'll make a little raft but until then guys stay cool and um, I'll see you in the next episode peace out